Hey everyone, Dylan here from Iceberg TV. We are here at Sugar Creek Disc Golf Course. I've got a pretty cool stack of discs uh, to share with you guys today. I got a huge box of discs from XCOM Discs. Um, they're all the Constellation theme discs and you guys seem to really like that video. XCOM messaged me, they said they have a bunch more discs they wanna send out. So I've got a, another, I got like 30 XCOM discs I'm gonna show you guys today. But a couple really bizarre ones they sent is this Scorpion in the Mercury plastic. And then we've got the Sagittarius in the Venus plastic. This is the widest distance driver that I've ever seen. This reminds me of the old um, non-PDGA approved Gateway uh, Ninja that was like a 15 speed. This thing is just as wide, if not wider than the Ninja. So I've got some really cool discs to test out today. Whole we're gonna start on hole two. It's 250 feet, dead straight. Some of these discs have some pretty questionable stamps. I felt like, I don't know, something about this stamp just creeps me out, this Gemini stamp. Something about this just doesn't sit quite right with me. 5500. Zero, zero. That's absolutely parked though. What a Frisbee, although the stamp is creepy, Good flyer. <laughs> Some of the other molds I'm really excited to test out today. We've got the Valens distance driver. It's like a nice flat kind of nine speed eagle-ish feeling disc. We've got the Cetus Constellation Dolphin in the Mars plastic. Then we've got the Efficus Ophicius Ophicus Efficus 75 minus 31. Absolute beauty of a fairway driver. Anyway, let's do it. And just a quick update for you guys. It's gonna be a little light on the videos for the next two weeks, I'd say. The old ice dad is coming to visit Charlotte. We'll probably do some videos here and there like we usually do, just some sort of fun and wh whatever kind of trouble we can get into. There'll be some form of documentation for that. We're doing a road trip to Memphis, Tennessee. Um, we're going to New Orleans. I'm not sure how much disc golf we're going to play. But if you guys would like to see like a nice kind of vlog style video of some of our activities, I would be happy to share that with you guys if there's enough interest for it. Um, we'll probably play a little bit of disc golf, but yeah, that's what's going on next two weeks. Probably a little light on the uploads. I want to do something huge for 20,000 subscribers, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And yeah, I appreciate all you guys who've been following the channel. The super creepy baby stamped uh, gem constellation, absolutely parked. Heck of a birdie on the first hole. I really hope I don't like this disc because the stamp is just obscenely creepy to me. After a crucial birdie on our first hole of the day, we're gonna try out the Efficus 75 minus 31 and the Valens. We'll try the Efficus first here. It does not feel flippy at all. Minus three turn, I don't, I don't think that's gonna be real. Yeah, it's kind of beefy. It's actually a nice, piece right there. This Aries is supposed to be like a Firebird. It's a 9403, but it's actually a straight up flip dog. So let's try out the Heiser flip here. That's a beauty. That's absolutely parked. Oh, is that it? There we go. Taurus is a nice little putter. I had the premium one, lost it. Uh, my first throw of the day, couldn't find it. It's gone forever, that's fine. We still have the putting version, which is gonna be a lot more useful today to me than the premium version. Hole four, 310, par three. I'm gonna try out both of these disturbingly wide distance drivers. I have actually no clue how they're gonna fly. I mean, they feel crazy. They feel unbelievable. They're both minus three turns. Wish me luck. Not a minus three turn, I don't think. That was an absolute brick. I could have just thrown it flat. This is 12.5, minus three, two, but it's got the rim width of a 16 speed. I don't think either of those are gonna be super flippy. We gotta throw another here. Those first two drivers are just so wide. They're so uncomfortable in the hand. This Valens feels amazing in the hand. Let's see if we can get a better shot off here. That's gonna be a tap in birdie likely. That's a perfect tee shot. That Valens is kind of like the people's Thunderbird. 
I think everybody wants to get their nine speeds, you know, their Thunderbirds, their Vanguards, um, any kind of stable nine speed that the pros can get to go 400 feet dead straight. Us mere mortals can't always do that. It's nice to have discs that are just a touch more understable that you can get that pro level Thunderbird flight without having that pro level arm speed. And I feel like the Valens is exactly that. Yeah, I really like this Valens. I've been toying with a ton of different nine speeds and this one seems to be something that I would actually really like to add into my bag. All right, we got a special guest pulling up on hole five, probably join us for the rest of the video. The draw, the Draco, absolutely fire, flies just like a destroyer. Oh yeah. The draw is a nice piece, dude. 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 Yeah, we got Grant here. All right, here we go. We're back at it again. A little Chagall action. What is that one? It's the Sagittarius. Sagittarius. And then what's this one? The Scorpion. The Scorpion. All right, here we go. We'll try the Scorpion first, see how it goes. It what? says Neg 3. I don't, I don't know if I believe that. You know, no, this no, rim no. is huge. It's huge. <laughs> oh, boy. Grant hurt his finger, so he's still lefty, but he's powerful lefty now. Whoa, beef, it's dog. beef. It's so beef. Whoa. It's whoa. probably gone forever. That's fine. Yeah. No big deal. Try this other one. Yeah, you got to really More crank Annie on for sure. all of the Annie. They're beefy. Oh, there you go. Dude, that's a nice pull. There it is. Well, would you say it's a 13 Sweet. speed or faster? I'd say it's faster than 13. That thing is very stable. Very stable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was had the height. Lefty backhand. Stable. Ooh. That was a two, sir. I like that pistol. Dude, that's a that's, nice one. I mean, if I put that little left, man, that's nice. It's just like a glidey Thunderbird kind of thing. This yeah. one's supposed to be a minus three. Okay. Beefcake. Yeah, she's beefy. That's a putt. Oh, yeah. Look at this creep. Do you, do you think this stamp is creepy or? That's pretty odd. I don't know what's going on with that. But it's it's fire though. It's a couple babies, but uh, it's it's pretty weird. <laughs> but look at that. The terror twins. The stamp is weird, but it's such a good disc. That's freaking piped. You parked it. That was insane. Good shot. Um. All right, Grant threw an absolute beaut right here with the oh, efficacy. Let's see if he can knock it down. Oh, dude, that would have been the nastiest off-handed birdie of all time. All right, we got the Ursa Major here in the Earth plastic, which is like a baseline plastic. When Grant threw it, it instantly went roller, so we got to go extreme hyzer here. That's the most understable disc ever made. That thing is insane. Awful. Yeah, I'll try this other one. I'm going to try out the Sagi. I got the, the Sagi here, the Sagittarius. 12, 13, 5, minus 3, 3. It's like a 17 speed. This thing's so wide. Ugh. Like that is no minus three. It's a plus three. Woo. <laughs> All right, we got Grant here. He's trying out the Libra. 11, five minus two. Let's see, let's see how it flies. Oh, it's dead straight. Oh, wow. You got some nice turn out of that. Oh yeah, thank you. All right, we're gonna... This one's actually sick. It's a, supposed to be a Firebird. Okay. 9403. Doesn't fly like that. Dude, I just parked it oh with God. the fake Firebird. 
Locals will know how unbelievably insane that shot is. Or the fake Firebird's even cooler. That's an unbelievable birdie. Hole 12, 285. We've got the Pisces and the Mercury plastic. Really enjoying. Not all the stamps are creepy. I know I keep roasting the Thunder Twins, but these actually seem pretty fire. I like that disc. That's, oh, it hit a tree and is rolled back towards the basket. That's actually putting. All right, I think this is gonna be a good place to call it for the day. Appreciate XCOM for sending us all these discs. These discs are super fun to throw. Um, some of them are better than others, I'll be totally honest. When companies are getting into disc golf, there's gonna be some gems, there's gonna be some terrible discs, and the Ursa Major at a 12.5 minus two, two is probably more like a <laughs> like a 12.6 minus 10, zero. Yeah. Dumb, <laughs> dumb flippy. But the, the gem, the constellation gem with the creepy babies on it, the Thunder Twins, mm -hmm. fire. And then this, 18 speed Sagittarius fire. Yeah, we got this Volos right here. This thing was perfect, honestly, you know, but the Neg one, oh, I don't know about that. This was a little bit stable for sure. It would get a nice flip out of it, but would definitely finish at the end. Uh, and then got the Ophesis right here. <laughs> this thing was premium. I don't know about a Neg three once again, you know, no. Uh, no. compared to like the Sagittarius, that's a Neg three, but you know, this is uh, this is actually an enjoyable disc. You put it on Heiser, it's gonna flip and just go straight for a while. So it was good. Yeah, I thought this kind of flew like a seven or eight speed Leopard. It's got a yeah. nice steep dome on it. You don't see a ton of fairway drivers with a lot of dome. This one's got a ton of dome. You get a lot of glide and good pushing distance and stability. So like a pro level fairway driver. <laughs> Would you call it the Ophicius? No, what is it? I think it's Efficus. Oh, yeah. Comment uh, below. Yeah. <laughs> Give us the phonetic pronunciation of the Ophicius. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching the channel. See you guys in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.